Ha! Finally. Alright, this is a piece of that box elder burl, that spalted, punky burl. Uh, I'm going to try to make a bowl out of it. It's not real easy for me to turn. I'm not real proficient at sharpening my tools. But I do want pieces of it missing, so this is the bottom of my pressure pot, 9 inches, because my pot's cupped at the bottom. So uh, I'm just going to screw... I'll screw through this and run it around a bandsaw as a template. And face plate from the other side, shape this bowl. How about that? All right, we had a plan. Somewhere right there, huh? can make the scraper sharp. I could use carbide. This stuff tears out real bad. And I can get sharp enough edge on it, get it close to where I want. I'm gonna use sanding sealer, the Minwax water-based sanding sealer. Seal it up, let it dry, and then just lightly get it to where I want it. Uh, it's pretty bang on, it's a little vibration at 1250. We're going from there. Well, hopefully I can keep all that pretty in there. I do kind of want to leave the inclusions so there's holes in the bowl. And I think that's where I'm going to. And we'll leave a, a ridge or a rim, somewhat of a rim. That way I get that, that inclusion. And then that one, cut my mortise. Give it some sanding, because actually this side looks pretty good. We'll see how the inside of the mortise looks like. This piece is actually pretty hard. A little bit of tear out here. I'm liking it, bug holes and all. Dummy finally got that fixed. It's nice and smooth. I can see it. I still need to sand this, so I'm gonna get this sanded, get the pole barn put in it, get it flipped over so I can work on the other side. 
I haven't done the sanding yet, and I'm not going to bore you with it. You know, it's a 120, 220, 320, probably the Yorkshire grit combination there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the outside surface yet. I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, so off the ladle again. I'm not, I'm not liking this. Uh, so I'm going to hit it with some CA and see if we can lock it up a little bit here, there, this here. And I think that's about it. I'm not real worried about this stuff. But that right there is going to come off, and I want that. It may it may come out when I true this up. It's not trued up yet as far as round. But this is going to be there. I'm not positive. I might lose that one also. But I think uh, I'm going to do it anyways, just in case. All right, so plans have changed a bit. I took it all the way up. I'm not sure if you can see it over here. This is a bit loose. I broke this piece out by hand. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be able to keep. I'll try to keep it. It's done a little warping overnight. Apparently it was wetter than I thought. <laughs> uh, this is my second coat of sealer sanded. I haven't done anything. No Yorkshire grit or anything yet. That's next. I just wanted to show you where we were at. Um, the burling kind of pops along with the rest of it. I just changed the plan up a little bit and then it warped. This, it, it's, it's cracking in that. So we'll, we'll see. I might not be able to even get this. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to try this Hampshire, Hampshire Sheen gold stuff, not hamster, Hampshire. <laughs> Somebody kept thinking I was saying hamster. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know if I did it right. This says to buff on, leave the dry over a single coat of sanding sealer. I've got two coats of sanding sealer and I Yorkshire gritted it. But either way, leave it to dry and if I want, coat it with Hampshire Sheen High Gloss, which I'm going to do. So uh, my kid wants to go out and chase a deer, wait for a deer. So I'm going to leave this set, let it dry, and see if we can go get her one. Looks pretty good. I like it. Look how all the colors popped. And some, uh, some reds coming out of the box elder. All the, all the burrowing. Some more red up here. The spalting. It looks good. I don't think these will be open holes. And so we'll get it flipped around and start from there. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Take the center out with this. Ooh, so which turn my easy wood tools here? If I'm doing it right or not, I don't know. Um, this seems to be working fairly easy for me. It sounds uh, a bit hollow, like I'm probably going to lose some pieces. This is how I'm going to try to take most of it out till I get this flat anyways. And down the center and I'll go back to the scraper. You see it is a bit punky in here. Pretty solid there. People are talking to me. I'll be right back.
I really don't want to push my luck anymore. So I got quite a bit of sanding to do to get this tear out out of here. And it, it sounds cracked. This is a little thick, but the vibration I'm getting out of it, I don't want it to blow apart. So I'm going to leave it like that because this here isn't even connected. See? <laughs> so. Uh, drop me some CA glue down in this side of it. And call it good. Uh, this is uh, taking forever. <laughs> uh, apparently some is softer than others and I've tried doing it turning and I don't know if you can see it. It's just the soft stuff's coming off way, way faster than the other stuff. So I'm hand sand the, the rim here. Get it smoothed out and I kind of like the rustic beat up look. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. The finish on it and uh, wrap this mess up. Last 300 and I'm gonna seal it. Uh, do the Yorkshire grit in here and by hand out here and then uh, I'll get back to the hamster sheen gold stuff. Uh, I, I see how it works. It, it fills up cracks and green with the gold. You, you can see it throughout this if you look close. I suppose I'm not doing it right, but it, it worked. I can see it in some of the cracks in that out here. I can see it. Let me get going. Yeah, this stuff really soaks up the sanding sealer, but I wanted you to see the, the colors in that pop out. It takes quite a bit, actually, because it just soaks it up. All right, I'll let that dry and go through all my, my grits of sandpaper there. Sand it back a bit, get the hamster sheen and all that done, or the Yorkshire grit and the hamster sheen. And we'll come back when I'm done. I think I like the rustic. Well, I like it. The gold sparkles here and there are kind of cool. Just kind of pop up and show up. So there you have it. I didn't see in there. I didn't turn out too bad. I kind of like the rustic old warped look. <laughs> it's not what I intended, but that's what I ended up with. Uh, I don't know if you can see the gold in, in the in the lower spots there's gold and some in there and then in here it's it's up here anyways and then uh out up right in around in here and then up in there uh, i don't know if i used that product right probably not I think you're supposed to use a sanding seal on it and rub that in. I don't know about the Yorkshire grit. It doesn't specify on the instructions. But yeah, Rotten Box Elder Burl. Rustic bowl. Full burns on there. It's got a little gold in it. A screw hole. <laughs> it's in the middle there. <laughs> Anyways, any of those products I used, you can actually, if you're here in the States, uh, the Walnut Log, I believe Jeff 
He carries all of them. That's where I got them all from. I think that's the only place. And yeah. So uh, go ahead and comment. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the don't like button. But, uh, I like it. I think it's kind of kind of cool, all warped and goofy looking. It's not what I planned. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. We'll see you next week.